This is the 5-Minute Youth Devotional Reading with Alex Sarria. March 22nd, Foot Bail. Exodus 23 says, You should have no other God but me. The Decalogue is an example of divine pedagogy. In just 10 proposals, the relevance of our lives is summarized. Written from the relationship of love to God and to humanity, it indicates that if we bond enough with them, we will notice how a mandate becomes a lifestyle. The knot that comes at the beginning of most of the proposals is a necessary limit at the beginning of spiritual life. But over the years, it becomes our natural way of being. If we love God, we will not substitute Him for anything, nor will we consider Him superficially. If we love others, we will not steal, kill, commit adultery, or lie. The ten words, as they're called in the original, have the virtue of taking us as a spiritual children and bringing us into maturity. Remember, the secret is in a love relationship. Some believe that the first commandment is old-fashioned. Who in our Christian world has other gods? That was a thing in the Middle Ages or a matter of countries in the 1040 window, but not ours. We are the remnant and we have no other gods. If you think like this, I want to tell you that you have a good chance of being an unconscious idolater. I'll give you some examples. People increasingly wish, worship foot bail. In some countries, it takes the form of a basket bail or a cricket bail. <laughs> but they are the same God with different manifestations. The worship of this God is such a caliber that I've seen very heated confrontations for belonging to one team or another. Barca, Real Madrid, Boca, River Plate, the Christian fraternity disappeared in our university when the national teams faced each other. I'm sorry to say that it was idolatry because unreason, but blind adherence to the priestly body of the God was above principles. Girls may smile at this comment, but what about the goddess of Estetyke? Every year in the spring and autumn, she parent presents through her top priestesses the guidelines of fashion and millions adore her with pleasure fashion as the foot bail fans is not questions it is revered we would go on talking about the worshipers of the god din eros dineros money and how they want everything they touch to turn to gold, or the acolytes of the god of trabajar or work, who are enslaved to personal exhaustion. But I think you already know that. This is not an old fashioned commandment. If we truly love God, no one will take his place. Nobody. Love of God is so exceptional that it naturally becomes exclusive. At first, as a spiritual child, it will seem uncomfortable to you, but then you will not be able to live without it. Therefore, love him. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If this was helpful for you, please share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Always remember this. Walking with God is the greatest thing you could ever do. You are his priority. Make him yours, and you will always live out your purpose. God bless.